If you enjoy the video and my content, please consider supporting my channel over on Patreon at patreon.com slash katedidart. Thanks so much! Wahaha! <laughs> Welcome back to Inktober 2018. Today I am painting day number 28, and today's theme is, um, it's pretty general, it's just blood. And as you all might already know, I really like drawing creepy things. I like drawing blood, <laughs> which is very strange. And, uh, yeah, so whenever I thought of this theme, the first thing that came to mind for me was this. Um, somebody sitting at a table stabbing a heart and they're joyfully humming about it. Don't know what that says about me, but I really like this theme and I'm honestly obsessed with just like this time of year because it's so like horror themed and I absolutely love it. Like, um, I'm voice recording this video on the 21st, but uh, today obviously is the 28th. Um, but I saw the Halloween movie last night. We went to a drive-in. It was a double feature. It was the first one and then the new one. And Halloween is my favorite, like, horror movie series. I absolutely love it. And it was, it was good. It was a fun movie. And I really enjoyed it. And I'm glad we went to see it. But it was a lot of blood and guts and gore. Definitely different than the first one, which um, was a, a welcome change, I suppose. Um, but yeah, this piece was really fun to work on. And it kind of <laughs> fits my mood right about now. Uh, but yeah, uh, I had to look up some reference for a human heart because those aren't really that easy to draw from memory because I don't look at human hearts very often, um, which is probably a good thing. Uh, but yeah, um, and I think I did an okay job drawing it. Like I said, um, I had to use a reference and there weren't really any references for the heart in like a side view, so I had to kind of wing it a little bit. <laughs> So if you're interested in this creepy lovely lady or any of my other Inktober pieces in my 2018 Inktober art book or you're interested in any of my acrylic pins which are basically like enamel pins but they're made out of acrylic they're going to be about one and a quarter inches tall and I have a few designs I've got a witch a ghost a vampire a mermaid and a tentacle heart if you're interested in any of those I will have pre-orders available on the screen pre-orders close in two days so if you're interested in getting any of my things for discounted rates and pre-order bonuses, head over there and get them while you can. Well, I mean, you'll be able to get them after the pre-order, but you won't be able to get a discount or pre-order bonuses, and that'll be super sad, right? So head on over there and uh, check them out and maybe pre-order them before the deadline. So now on to today's topic that you've probably already seen from the thumbnail and the title, and today we're going to be talking about tackling burnout, specifically Inktober burnout. Now, I could make a whole, like, entire video on burnout <laughs> because I am somebody who struggles from it a lot, um, but I just want to talk about specific Inktober burnout and maybe some tips to kind of combat that. Of course, this would kind of have to be for next year because this year's pretty much over, but yeah, so for me, I'm finally kind of gotten a little bit of burnt burnt out I guess um, and it actually happened to me after finishing these pieces and basically as soon as I finished all my inktober pieces it was kind of like a, a like I relaxed and I just I needed a break I needed to hibernate and I still do honestly um, and and that's super healthy I mean after you tackle a challenge like this you definitely want to give yourself time to recharge and relax and uh yeah because i'm super guilty about it like whenever i'm not doing art i feel guilty i feel like i should be doing something i feel like if i'm not i'm being lazy and <laughs> it's the worst feeling because it's like i'm beating myself up for needing a break and i don't know if that is relatable to any of you but it definitely is for me and um, so yeah, and that's kind of burnout. So basically how you get burnout, if you don't know, is you do too much in the little span of time, maybe something you're not used to, maybe you're doing a daily challenge, <laughs> Inktober, um, or something of that nature. And some ways to combat it are, like I just said, recharge afterwards. Um, do not put too much pressure on yourself to keep creating. If you just can't, take a break. I mean... 
it, it does more harm than good. I talked about it in a previous video, but pushing yourself too far is, it's not great and it has the adverse effect. Another thing to help with burnout, and it's something I started to do this Inktober, is to pre-plan your sketches. <laughs> See, in September, what I did is I decided to pre-plan my prompts and my sketches so when Inktober came around, all I had to do really was paint them and then some of the later ones I would still have to decide on an idea, but for the most part, I wouldn't have to think too much when Inktober came around because I think that's one of my hardest, not hardest, but like one of my most difficult things for me to do for Inktober is constantly deciding what to draw on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't know what it is, but it's like that first step when you get into needing to sketch something. It's like the hardest step for me and I struggle with it a lot. And so pre-planning my sketches really helped me to get those out of the way. So all I would have to do is come in and paint them. Now that isn't to say that there were days that there were no days where I didn't do that because I took some days off and I had to recharge a little bit because still painting something every day is, you know, it's tedious, especially when you're not used to it. And yeah, so burnout is real and I'm definitely feeling it now. It's kind of like when you exercise a lot and your muscles are sore and you need a break. It's kind of like that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm definitely feeling it now and I cannot wait to just take a break and relax a little, do some easy videos for all of you. Not doing daily videos will be another nice thing. Um, daily videos has been fun, it really has, but there's a time and a place for it and it's not gonna happen for a while. <laughs> so yeah, but I, yeah, I mean, and I, I know a lot of you are struggling from burnout right now. I've had a lot of you comment and kind of mention it. Um, so yeah, definitely if you're feeling it, take a break, do something that you really enjoy, and um, just keep your mind off of uh, stressful things as much as you can, and just, you know, treat yourself a little bit, I guess. Take a bubble bath, or um, play a video game that you've been wanting to play, or something like that. So yeah, um, I'm going to talk about the piece a little bit, since we are pretty far into the piece. Uh, I'm currently line arting it, and I really like this piece. I just love her expression. And I just like how creepy it is because she's just literally stabbing a heart and she is the happiest camper alive to be stabbing this heart. Maybe it was somebody who uh, she just really didn't like and she finally got back at them. Or uh, maybe um, it was a past lover who had scorned her and so she's like, fine, you break my heart, I'll stab yours. Or something along those lines. <laughs> um... But yeah, this one was really fun to work on and it was it kind of came out of nowhere. I'm not even going to lie. I I had the idea whenever I thought about it, but I didn't know how to execute it and I I'm really happy with how I executed it. It was really fun and it's pretty simple, but I really like it. So yeah, um if you want to know any and all supplies that I'm using in this particular video, I will have a supply list in the description below as well as links to where you can go check them out. Or if you want to know my general tips and supplies for Inktober, I also have a video that'll pop up on the screen now to where you can go uh, check that video out and uh, hear my tips and supplies for Inktober. Are you all still doing Inktober? We're really far into it, so props to you if you've gotten this far. Um, if you are, don't forget to use the hashtag squidoodling with Katie to share your little Inktober doodles with me. Um, this video has a lot of pauses where I'm not doing anything with the art. I'm really sorry about that. Um, but hopefully you found my commentary a little helpful and, um, informative and entertaining a little. Um, but yeah. So, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the video up, um, as I'm just kind of adding some lines and stuff. I want to thank you all so incredibly much, as always, for being here and watching my videos. If you aren't already and you want to be a part of our cute squid pod, there is a subscribe button down below and there's a button next to it that has a little bell on it. If you click that, you get notified on when I upload new videos. Also, I have social media links in the description below to where I'm going to be uploading all my photos for Inktober as well as anything else I decide because it's social media and who knows where we're all be posted over there. So if you're interested in following me on my socials, uh, links are in the description below. And yeah, uh, I hope to see you all for day number 29, which will be tomorrow. And until next time, my adorable squidlings, toodaloo!